Good day everyone, my name is Jason Azan and here is my lesson plan. Good morning class, please stand for the prayer. Amen. How are you class? Very good, I hear that you are so fine today. And please pick up some trashes on the floor. Please straighten your rows, okay? Good. Okay, let's check our attendance. Row 1, all are present. Row 2, all are present. Row 3, all are present. Very good. No one is absent. So, what did we do last meeting? Okay. Jason, please stand. Very good. What we did last meeting is all about we're having the summative test on the perpendicularity and parallelism of lines cut by a transversal. Okay. Class, I'll divide you into six groups. Please count one to six. Okay. And here is your activity. Okay, time is up. Okay, please pass your activity. Okay, good. So I will ask you regarding about the activity. What have you observed from the activity? Okay. I want somebody at the back to answer my question. Okay, Miss Russell. Okay, very good. What are the skills and values involved in the activity? Yes, Diane, please stand. Okay, very good, excellent. So, from the activity, how did you come up with your list? Or let's say, how did you arrange the choices of the meal? Okay, what's another idea? Okay, very good. Did you find difficulty in choosing which to eat? Yes. Don't answer in chorus. Dale, please stand. Very good. Did, did you find insights and learning from this activity and how did you apply it in real life? Okay. I want some voice from the boys. Okay. Yes. Alberto, please stand. Very good. So... We will proceed to our new lesson. So our lesson for today is all about Experiments and outcomes. So, in this lesson, I want you to achieve the following objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to do the following with 95% proficiency. First, differentiate experiment, outcome, and sample space. Second, illustrate sample spaces by using tables and tree diagrams. Third, count the number of all possible outcomes in an experiment. And lastly, display awareness on the real-life applications of experiments and outcomes. Since we talk about experiments and outcomes, so first, what is experiment?
Probability experiment, or in short, experiment, is a chance activity or process that leads to well-defined outcomes. Who can give me an example of experiment based in your repertoire of learning? What have you learned during elementary years? What can you give me example of experiment? Okay. So we have example here of experiment. So examples of experiment, flipping a coin, tossing a die, answering a true or false question, and giving a single childbirth. So how about outcomes? So somebody give me an idea what is an outcome? Don't answer in chorus. Yes? Florentino, please stand. Very good. So outcome is the result of an experiment. So we, he, here we have the experiment flipping a coin. So we have not count. It is a head. So if you flip a coin, it is a head. So another example experiment, tossing a die, the outcome would be a four. This example. So answering a true or false question, the outcome would, would be a false. The experiment giving a single childbirth has an outcome of a male. So that is an outcome. So we have a third concept which is the sample space or probability space. Sample space or probability space is the set of all possible outcomes in an experiment. So it is quite different with outcome since outcome only refers to the only one result. But sample space refers to the set of all possible outcomes. So this is overall or the totality of the outcomes. Here, we have the experience flipping a coin. It has outcome head. But what is the sample space? So if you flip a coin, coin you can get either a head or a tail. Okay? Tossing a die. Who can give me a sample space of tossing a die? Okay, please stand. Franilin. Okay, thank you. Very good. Then, how about answering a true or false question? Yes, Jemaline, please stand. Very good. So, let's check your work, huh? Very good. Franilin's and Jemaline's answers are correct. So, in tossing a die, either you can get one, two, three, four, five, or six. Answering a true or false question, you can get true or false so how about give a single childbirth okay the answer would be male and female you understand the lesson class do you have any questions from this okay there are some senses that require more than two things or objects for example flipping a coin you can flip another coin so that's two coins but this is not applicable maybe you will result to confusion so that's why there are devices used to find sample cell sample spaces for, for probability experiment okay we have the devices here So, the first device is table, and the second device is tree diagram. Uh, how can you call what is a table and tree diagram based on your, what have you learned during your elementary years? Okay, please share, share your idea. Please stand Charles. Okay, very good. Who can give me another idea? Yes. 
Miss Stephanie Tristan. Excellent. All of your answers are correct. So we have what if we have a example we have tossing two coins. We're tossing two coins. So We're using table. So we have here tossing two coins. So we have two coins. The first coin, the second coin. So what is the sample space of a coin? That is head and tail. Oh, head and tail. So if you are tossing two coins, you can get head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. So what is your sample spaces? So your sample spaces, that would be head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail. Tail, tail. Understand? Okay, who will answer the second problem? Answering true or false questions. Okay, please go to the board. Irish. Okay, we have the problem here. Answering two true or false questions. Okay, is her answer correct, class? Okay. So let's proceed to tree diagram. Our tree diagram is different from table since table uses columns and rows while tree diagram uses branches. So for tossing two coins, let's use the first example using two coins. So we have first coin, the sample spaces head and tail. Your second coin, we can get head or tail. Tail. This is the tree diagram. So your sample spaces, the sample spaces is head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. Understand? Okay, who will answer the second problem? Answering two true or false questions. Okay. Okay, let's proceed to how about if we give a uh, determining the success of three children of the family who will answer okay miss faith oh very good your answer is correct so we're done with our lesson okay class who can give me or share me idea on how the lesson is applied to real life. Yes, Miss Kathleen, this time. Okay. Thank you for your nice idea. So, experiments and outcomes is very useful. Just like when you are ordering a meal in a restaurant or buying a phone based on model, color, and brand. Or when you are pairing your shorts and pants. So all those things require experiments and outcomes. So to know better about the lesson, I'll give you the set to work by pair. Okay, choose your pair. Okay, don't be noisy. Don't track the chair when you're choosing that pair. Okay. So, so time is up. Since we have no more time, please copy this assignment rapidly. Okay. Bring the following materials for tomorrow's activity. A pair of dice, three one peso coins, and a set of play paper money. 